Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I've got something a little bit special for you. One, I've got a new screen set up. Look at this. I'm in a box. I'm not in a box. I'm kind of outside of a box. How cool is that? It's very cool, isn't it? Yeah, green screen magical stuff. I mean, you can, you can kind of still see a little faint image, but I can't get rid of it. Freaking annoying. I might have to get a thicker green screen or something, but hopefully we can improve it as time goes on. But for now, I figured I'd be bringing you a little bit of a new look to my... um. Set up. Anyway, why am I here? There's a cup of tea with Captain Steve video where I haven't got a cup of tea anymore because I've been too busy fiddling about with green screens. But anyway, inside of the PlayStation Showcase was a game called Towers of Ag Shabba. Ag Hashabba? Something like that. Towers of Ashaga. Yeah, anyway, announcement tra trailer PlayStation 5. Cool, lovely. Don't know whatever platforms it's coming to. However, when you go to their website, it does say Steam, I believe. But if you go over to their channel here, you can see here the running time of this is like what? It does say the running time. 1 minute 35. 1 minute 35. If I go over to their actual channel, though, they've got an extended one. 2 minutes 30, people. 2 minutes 30. So there's going to be extra footage in there that you haven't seen. So I'm going to hit that one up. I'm going to play it for you right now, people. Now, in this, they talk a lot of gibberish. So I've turned the sound right down. And I'm just going to talk over the top of it. So, I mean, it starts off almost like Majora Mask there. It almost looks Zelda-esque at first. And then I was thinking, or is it more like Fable? Or is this game something that is completely new and different to all of those sort of games? And I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people. There you go, look, he's talking gibberish. But even still, it still sounds quite nice, the gibberish, doesn't it? You know what, I'll shut up just for a moment and let you listen. I'll turn the sound up a bit more. So it looks like it's got actual, you know, building mechanics in there, but it looks like giant prefabs. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Dark Cloud, a game that I used to really like. Now the character models seem kind of nice. I'm hoping that we get to customise our own character. Now it does appear that there might be some multiplayer aspects to the game. I'll hit up the website in a moment and show you what I've seen. But I also want to show you a prototype trailer where you see a little bit of gameplay that sort of almost looks like it might be multiplayer. I've got high hopes for it anyway, that it might have multiplayer. I think there's a chance that it's going to have multiplayer. But anyway, carry on playing. Sorry about that, people. It's gone dark. Oh, it goes dark. It's cool. Love the fauna in this. I mean, look at those giant air air whales. Don't they look cool? And that mechanic of the glider is kind of a little bit like the latest Zelda game. Makes me wonder whether the makers of Zelda might have seen this, or you know, Biomutant even, perhaps. But look at it. Now, I'm looking at the distance draw, and I'm wondering whether this was actually shot on a PlayStation or whether it was shot on a PC, because I'm not seeing much popping even though there's quite a lot of detail on screen. And this is coming from an indie studio. Come in 2024, it's a little bit of a way away. Now, when you, oh, here you go, look, it says Steam just there. Join the Steam wish list. So I think it's coming to PC as well. I just don't know about Xbox or other platforms. So anyway, let's come out of there. Let's go back over onto their actual channel. Because over here, they've also got this one, this prototype video. Okay, so let me hit this one up. Let me just rewind that one so you can watch it, and I'll make it nice and full screen. Again, I've got the, the sound turned down a little. Hopefully you can hear some of the sound effects in the background. You might not be able to hear all of them. At the same time, I don't think you're near to you since they speak a load of gibberish. Um, look at that. I mean, look. Rocks with eyeballs in. That's freaking freaky deaky, isn't it? Freaky deaky. And some pigeons or seagulls, I guess. The world just looks beautiful. I quite like the music. The music feels kind of fitting. You've got destructional environments there. Trees getting knocked over by beasties. Look, there's another player there with another glider. Or at least I think it's another player with another glider. 
We're going to read the website in a minute, and I want you to sound off in the comments and let me know what you think when it comes to multiplayer. How deep do you think the multiplayer is going to be is the question I've got for you. But you can see there, look, there's another NPC or another character swimming with them right now. Oh, man, I mean, this is another bit. Look, there's, a, there's at least three people there that I can see running around planting stuff and doing stuff and sort of restoring this world back to its former glory. I don't know whether it's former or what, but you, it looks like you're terraforming it in some way. That creature there had like little sticky things coming out of its head. And now oh, it looks awesome, like pollinating or something. It just looks beautiful. It's proper captivating. I mean, that fishing mechanic could do some work, couldn't it? The fish just floating above his hands there. But yeah, the climbing of creatures, something that I've loved in like Shadow of the Colossus, Dragon's Dogma, Monster Hunter games. And the fact that you can do that on this is awesome. And you can see there, there was another NPC type looking character standing on that creature's head as he flew down. There's one riding a donkey and he's riding behind. So I'm wondering what sort of level it goes to when it comes to multiplayer. I mean, it looks like multiplayer there, doesn't it? Unless you've got like NPCs inside of a tribe that sort of follow you around. You've got harvesting going on there, like knocking down trees and digging up fruits. And there's multiple people there, and they don't look like they're AI controlled because they seem to be all over the freaking shop, like a human player, you know? But that just looks amazing. The crafting, the exploring, the creatures, it's ticking so many boxes for me, people. And of course, it's open weldy. And look at the size of that. Is that a mega boss? Are there going to be giant monsters like that? Humanoid type boss creatures? I do hope so. And combat. Here we go. The combat scenes look okay as well. A lot of it is at distance with arrows, but it looks like you can get up and close and personal and do dodging. It was hard to say how good the hitboxes are or how in depth the combat's going to be. But they almost look like Shadow of the Colossus size, size bad guys, don't they? This looks awesome. It's got so many of my favourite games spliced and merged into one package. I am, I'm really blown away by this, people. It's like there, with the arrows being fired down, it almost looked like you could do joint combat maybe with a mate. There's a few of them there against that big creature, isn't there? But are they NPC driven or are they player driven? That's my biggest question. This guy looks like he's straight out of No Man's Sky. A bipedal guy with the horns on his head. Uh, we get those appearing on some planets in the old No Man's Sky. I guess we do. You know what, people? Sign me up for this. Take my money. Heck yes. That looks great. It's ours. Explore, build, defend, together. It says together. It does say together right there in letters. Together. Anyway, let's let's come out of there. Let's just, um, I don't know, it might have autoplay on. So I'm always a bit nervous it might start playing another trailer in the background. Anyway, we're over on the actual website. So we've got quite a lot going there. But if I click on towers and scroll on down on here. Beautiful website, by the way. Really nice. Scroll on down. It says join the wish list now on Steam. So I know it's on Steam. Somewhere the seeds of change. Sow the seeds of change. Towers of Agshaba is an open world fantasy experience where players must balance between constructing bustling villages for their own growing tribe and nurturing a beautiful ecosystems of the otherworldly plant life. Express your creativity by developing your island however you like. Explore the whimsical land of Agshaba and connect with friends to show off your unique world. So I don't know whether a lot of it's a solo experience and at some point multiplayer opens and people can come and see what you've done. But it says here, explore, climb to jaw-dropping vistas, befriend bizarre creatures and uncover the rich history of the sacred islands of Agshaba. Build. Plan sprawling villages, customise your buildings and watch your settlement come to life as they're inhabited by members of the Shimu tribe. So it does seem that there are going to be some NPC type driven characters there. But are they going to help you in the combat side and all that sort of shenanigans? Don't know. Grow. Bring back to a devastated land. Nurture the growth of, the li of living. Breathe in ecosystems composed of fantastical flora and fauna. It does look fantastical. And this is it, where it says together, visit your friends' unique islands to get ideas for how to develop your own 
or invite everyone to your island to explore, harvest, or just hang out together. Now, it says everyone. It's not going to be pretty much everyone on the server, is it? No, it'll probably be a group of players, but what's that limited to? It doesn't go into technical details as yet. Stay connected with our latest update. Stay in the loop with Towers of Ixhara on our public Discord server. I've joined that Discord server. I've joined that, people. So I'm over on there. Hopefully I'll do a little bit more digging. And if I have got any more news, I'll be sure to share that news with you guys in the viewer verse. So yes, if you've liked this video, please hit a like, hit a subscribe, hit all those buttons. You know what you're doing. So I'm going to be ending off in a second, people. There you go. Look, I'll make it nice and big on the screen for you. But you can see here, I've got the green screen behind me. All my lights are off. I'm thinking in the summer, my room gets extremely hot with all the lights on. So I'm thinking this new sort of green screen setup that I'm playing with, maybe I could use that in the summer setup. And I think it's going to look great. I mean, I think it looks OK, even with a little bit of green that I'm seeing around and stuff. But yeah, there you go, people. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.